Hello guys, once again, welcome back to the channel Rahul Automation Studio. So today in this video, I'm going to explain you one concept about the test engine. So that is how you can ignore or skip your test case from the execution. So how you can ignore or skip your test case from the execution, right? So there will be many situation that that is that uh, the test case is already passed for you and you don't want to run another time. So and maybe you don't want to run uh, that particular test case for that uh, uh, suite. So like so how you can ignore and skip that particular test case from the execution from the suite or from a test class. So there are basically three ways that you can do. OK, so there are total three ways. Uh, to achieve this ignoring the test cases so the one is with the help of enable enable is an attribute that you can define on at the rate test and you can define the value for it so you can define it the value as a true also you can define the value as a false if you will define the value as a false so in that case that uh, it is not enabled so it means this test case will not be run for you right and if the value is true it means the test case will be executed for you right so the second way uh, to ignore and to skip that particular test case from the execution from a class or either it is from a class or it is from a suite that you have created a test ng.xml file so from where like you want to exclude the second way is you can use the ignore also guys okay and this ignore you can use at test level and at the class level also if you will mention this at the rate ignore at the class level so all the test cases all the test methods which are defined in this class will be ignored and no test case will be executed under it i will show you practically also that how it will be work for you so that you will get the confidence in it so what is the third way? The third way that you can exclude your test case from the suite execution, right? So the third way is you can use the exclude in test method. In test method. Okay, so in the test method. In your test ng XML file. HTML file, right? So there are three total ways that you can achieve that you can ignore and skip particular test cases from the execution. So let's see one by one. <coughs> Sorry. So this is a one class that is having a login test class that we have created in our previous video. And this class is having login test and it is containing two test cases. You can see. So two test cases are there. One test case is basically launching a URL and another test case is launching the URL and we are, uh, we will be verify the title in it. Okay, so assert dot, assert equal you have to use here guys for it. So just you can specify and uh, this title. So the title for google.com website is a Google. So you can specify this code. So you can verify it, not an, you have to specify in double quotes as it is a string value we are comparing. So one test case is for launching the URL in the browser and another test case is for the verification of the title. Now, if you will run the this particular class, so what will happen? Let's see. So you have to run your test case as a test ng, right? So once you will run, so you will see two test cases will be run for this because there are two test cases at the rate test, at the rate test. So there are two test cases at the rate test, at the rate test, which are defined in this particular class. So one is completed. Now the second one is executing. So you can see two test cases has run and all the two test cases are passed. But now what you want that you don't want to run this particular test case. First test case you don't want to run. 
like this is already containing in test case number two. So you don't want to include or you don't want to run. So what you can do for it. So the first way is that you can mention as a enable equal to false. So we will check the syntax. So this is enabled. So definitely uh, this is enabled actually. So enabled equal to false. You have to use as enabled equal to false. So once you will define that enabled equal to false, it means this test case is not enabled now. So if test case is not enabled, so in that case, this test case will not run. So let's see, right click on it, run as a test ng test and we will see how many test case will be run. So we will close all the other browsers to avoid any confusion. So you can see only one test case has been executed this time and you can see total run is one and passes is one. And we have executed in the same way like we have executed in the previous time. And that time two test cases have run and two has passed. Now let's see, we will make this also as a enabled, as a false, okay? So what will happen? <clears throat> So there are two test cases in this particular class. This is test one we have made as enabled as false. This is another test case. This is also we have done as a false. Now let's try to run this particular class. So run as a test ng test and see what will happen. You can see guys this time it is not running any test case because both the test cases we marked as a enabled or false. You can see no test found, nothing was run. Right, so it means to ignore your test case. So if you want to skip the execution for the test case, you can mark that particular test case as enabled equal to false. This is the one way that you can achieve. Now let's remove it and we'll see the another way that we can use. We will re remove from here also. So the another way that you can use is at the rate ignore. Just click on save. So once you will specify at the rate ignore on particular test case, so that test case will be marked as ignored and it will not. Okay. So if you want to see, we will run it. Let's see. Just right click on it and run as test ng test. So this test case should be ignored and only this test case has to be run. Test case underscore verified title. And one test case has to be executed. So guys, you can see only one test case has run and one is passed. And we, if we see the test case name, which has run. So the test case is run TC underscore verified title, TC underscore verified title. So this test case is run and this test case is marked as a ignore. So it was not running. Let's try to ignore the second test case this time, not the first one. And we'll see now right click and run edge test ng test we'll close this browser again so this time first sk should be run second sk should be mark as signal so it is done and you can see this time the test case is run as open url tc underscore open url tc underscore open url and this test case is marked as a you know ignore Okay, so you can ignore your test case also with the help of at the rate ignore. Suppose we want to mark uh, both the test case. So in that case, you can mention this annotation on both the test cases. Now let's try to run it. So you can see again, same error it is showing that uh, no test found, nothing was run because we marked as both the test case as ignore and there is no test case in this particular class to run it. So now one more thing that I want to explain is that, that this at the rate ignore we can achieve at the class level also. Suppose there are like 10, 20, 50 test cases in your class and you want to ignore the all the test cases for it. You don't want to be that particular class should be the part of the execution so what you will do 
you have to put this at the rate ignore one by one on each of the test case right so instead of doing that what we can do we can add this particular ignore at the class level also okay so for that what you have to do on your class define as at the rate ignore and you can remove it from the test cases okay once you will mark at the rate ignore at the class level so all the test cases in that particular class will be marked as ignore and those test cases will not run for you. you don't have to specify individually at the rate ignore or individual test case simply you can write at the rate ignore at the class level now let's see uh, try to run it so what will happen so again you can see it is giving the same error that uh, no test is found and nothing was run so we have not specified at the rate ignore at the class i mean in this test method we have specified at the class level so that also you can achieve it guys so this is the second way that you can achieve if you want to skip your execution so now let's come on the third point so third is we can exclude the test method in your test ng file okay so just open one file so this is one of the file this is a regression file and uh, i don't want to run the group so we can delete the groups from here and uh, so in this particular classes class and the class name is login test fine and in this particular class i want to include the method okay method name equal to so there is actually syntax so i don't have to close it from here and uh, yeah i will close it here and uh, this is methods we have to define here we don't want to close okay and here it will be include so just let me check the syntax for it so here we can find just find exclude like this is there this is for this we are actually looking for this syntax of so classes we find this is methods and methods so that we can define right so like this we have to define so same thing sweet test after that classes in the classes we are having class this is the class name and in the class we are defining the methods which should be included and which should be excluded this is methods closed this is class closed class is closed test and sweet so this is about the include and uh, also we can define as a exclude so let's see do that also and instead of include i want exclude and we will have to specify the name for it so copy that test method name paste it in similar way second name is this just copy and paste okay so what we are doing in that test case one we are including test case two we are excluding so test case two should not be executed only test case underscore open where it should be run let's try to run this regression so this is the third way that uh, you can exclude particular test case from the execution guys so you can see only one test case is run and it has passed for you and what is the test case name so it is not printing i think test case name let's see not showing the test case name but we will add some system dot out of print ln right and we will print it we will print the test case name okay and in the similar way we will print in another 
test case also. This is the test case name. Right, now let's try to run it again. So test ng suite because this is a test ng file, so it will be running as a test ng suite for you. Let's see. Yeah, so you can see the name is test case underscore open URL. So this test case is particularly included in our regression file, and test case two was excluded, so that's why it was not running. We will try to exclude this one exclude and we will try to include this test case this time and we'll see what will happen so our test case 2 should be executed this time okay so run as test ng suite so we will go on console and you can see it is printing the google for us because we are verifying the title so title is coming as a google for us and uh, this is the test case name tc underscore verify title and this same test case we have included other test case we have excluded so it was not running the exclude test case right so this is how so guys there are total three ways and this is an interview question also like uh, what are different ways to ignore and skip the test case from the execution so you have to tell all the three ways uh, to the interviewer that there are three ways that is enable equal to false you can use at at the rate ignore also at the test level or at the class level and third one is the exclude method that you can exclude particular test case from the suite so there are three ways that you have to explain to the intern so that will show you that yes you have having some good experience in your test engine right so yeah that's it guys uh, from this video and if you have any doubt please let me know and uh, you can comment out your queries also please like share and subscribe to my channel thanks bye